Hi, I'm Scully. I'm here today at the Virus Design Studios, and it's that time. I need to reglaze a new crucible. This one's seen uh, better days, so thought I'd bring you guys along and show you how I glaze the crucible to get it ready for melting metals. Okay, to get started, we're going to need our silica-based crucible. Um, this is a two-inch size. This will melt up to about four ounces and that is literally maxing it out. Uh, most of the stuff we pour is anywhere from one ounce to three ounces. So these, this size crucible works real well for us. What I'll be glazing it with will be the Matt's Casting Flux. You can get this at Rio Grande. Um, this stuff works really good, puts a really nice glaze on. You could also use bor household borax, that works great. Uh, and there's a few other type of glazes you can use. Uh, liquid glazes, um, it's whatever you prefer. Uh, anyway, so let's get started. Okay, the first thing you're going to want to do is get the crucible hot. I'm going to start by glazing the bottom first. Once the bottom's all glazed, then I'll move around and start glazing all around the lip. But, so let's throw it into the kiln and we'll get it, get it to proper temperature. So I'll be back. Okay, now we got it up to temperature, so now I'll go ahead and start adding the flux slowly to start the glazing process. Now remember, there are a lot of videos out there that will show you and they just pile the glaze on. Uh, I don't recommend that because you end up getting it to pool at the bottom and that can actually create problems for you later. You sprinkle some on about like that, and it, pop it back in, and I'll let that cook for just a few minutes so that glaze gets nice and hot, melts off the flux, and it'll start filling in. I'll repeat this process several times on the bottom until I get it to where I think it's glazed well.
you haven't glazed but that they glow. See how it glows real bright? That's an area that doesn't have glaze yet. So you keep going until you don't get any of those little glowing spots. reason why you want to let it slow cool is you don't want that glazing to end up popping off or breaking away. You'll know your, when you hear that pop, pop, pop sound, that means your crucible is uh, cooling too fast. Um, so you want to try to prevent that uh, to make your crucible and the glazing last longer. So we'll be back in about 15 minutes and we'll see how it turned out. Okay, I'm back. Let's see how it turned out. It's been about 30 minutes I had to go feed my pizza addiction. Well, it looks pretty good. Got a nice shine, nice glazing over the whole thing. I don't know if you can see that in the camera, but you want it really shiny inside, almost like it's glass. But that is a glazed cru crucible. It is ready to start pouring. Uh, you do want to have it wait till it's completely cold. It's still warm. So I'll put it aside and uh, let it cool the rest of the way down, but this is ready to use. And that's the basic way to uh, glaze a crucible. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.